one thing that often gets missed in conversations about things like contraband weapons being seized inside jails um, is the idea that um, those weapons are the primary indicators of violence when really the act of imprisoning people is a, a form of violence kind of foundationally. Calling it a manipulative and unfair system, a Winnipeg professor says there's much are seized from inmates inside of provincial correctional centers, saying that the problematic dehumanizing practice is part of a wider issue. These are uh, techniques that guards might use that are part of the, you know, both physical and emotional <laughs> manipulation that they use in an attempt to keep so-called peace uh, in a place that really, I think, never will be. Peaceful. That's Bronwyn Dobchuk Land, an associate professor of criminal justice whose research focuses on the politics of policing and prison expansion. She says the sweeping discretionary seizure of non dangerous items from inmates can have a negative effect on people residing inside both provincial jails and federal prisons. <laughs> After obtaining a list of seized items by COs from Headingley Correctional Center through Freedom of Information legislation, City News reported how the union that represents correctional officers is concerned about the items getting inside and the danger it creates. Stressing the growing complexity of how items are smuggled in is creating an increased need for resources at the facilities. But amongst dangerous items were things like pairs of headphones, an audio Bible, a container of sage, and contraband earplugs. And Dobchuk Land says when items like this are taken from inmates, it's not to preserve safety, but to ensure subordination. Really, all of this is part of the stripping down of autonomy and selfhood that is imagined as being necessary in order to maintain compliance from prisoners. She says the best way to keep both inmates and correctional staff safe is to reduce the need for and number of correctional centers overall. This by addressing the root causes of perceived criminal behavior through strong community support on things like housing, health and social services, and mental health supports. The solutions aren't uh, mysteries, but they do challenge the uh, kind of commonly held common sense assumption that we need jails in the first place. A statement from the province reads, quote, we are committed to the use of best practices, including through the review of existing policies when it comes to contraband entering correctional facilities. Through the provision of rehabilitation and culturally appropriate programs, we are providing inmates with opportunities to turn their lives around and reduce the risk of reoffending, end quote. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.